Running the $95 billion foreign aid package for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan is now headed to President Joe Biden's desk after the U.S. Senate voted overwhelmingly to pass it. ABC's M. Wen reports. Overnight, the Senate overwhelmingly approved the long-delayed $95 billion package to provide aid to Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. Majority Leader Chuck Schumer celebrating the 79-18 to 18 vote. I'm very proud of what has happened. We tell our allies, we stand with you. We tell our adversaries, don't mess with us. We tell the world we will do everything to defend democracy in a way our, and our way of life. President Biden hailing the bill as a major bipartisan victory against tyranny and oppression. It comes eight months after the president initially requested the emergency foreign aid. The legislation was stalled in the House after far-right Republicans opposed sending aid overseas without addressing immigration here at home. President Biden will sign the legislation today. It includes $61 billion for Ukraine, marking the first congressional aid for the country in more than a year. As fighting intensifies in Ukraine and its air defenses run low, the White House says weaponry should be sent to Ukraine this week. Another major component in the bill, a potential TikTok ban. Congress now forcing the China-based company to sell the platform within nine months or face a ban. Despite some pushback from the 170 million users in the U.S., lawmakers in both parties raising national security concerns. They've not been in the classified briefings that Congress has held which have delved into more deeply some of the threat posed by foreign control of TikTok. Emlyn, ABC News. One. If TikTok's parent company can't or won't sell by that deadline, Americans will be unable to update or download the app. TikTok is now vowing to fight that ban in court. Senators on both sides of the aisle are responding to this bill being passed. Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley says this foreign aid package is, quote, an investment worth making to prevent the United States getting stuck, sucked into World War III. At the same time, Illinois Senator Dick Durbin is celebrating the bill's passage, but adds that he will, quote, continue to work with the Biden administration to ensure Israel uses these funds in line with international standards.